You she got some. Are. They got some moves. Well, good. Yes, but you too. I, you're exerting an incredible amount of energy. <laughs> I may be sick, but my legs still work. Yes, they do. My, I bet Rachel's just eager to get over here for an interview with your sick old. Germs Stop it. I'm out. fine. Are Everything's you? okay. What are you hosting? I'm tonight? actually feeling better. Are you? I'm in Winnipeg tonight. <laughs> uh, who is today's <laughs> Cultural Hall of Shame and inductee? All right, let's get right to it. Um. Yeah, remember that giant meteor that slammed to Earth? Sure. Last week, the, and the Russians, the, of all the people in the world, <laughs> for it to fall in front of. The, this very culture, just because, for whatever reason, they're, they all got dashboard cameras on their cars. There <laughs> yes. must be some horrible insurance fraud. It's strange fraud that they all have going. the dashboard That's what I understand. Yeah. It's for the, it, this massive <laughs> insurance fraud that is rampant, and so yes. they all have to have these. So the, the Not cameras to take are, anything away from the effects of it, but it was handy that they all had the cameras. We could fantastic. see the, the what meteor. Luck, except yeah. the Russians continue to be maybe the weirdest people on the planet because okay. there is this intense bright light. It just something starts hurtling out of the sky, getting you more intensely brilliant. Mm. So you know it's weird and not a peep. You watch video <laughs> after video of these dashboard cameras. Nobody, there's no sound. It's just like, oh, it's the bright thing from the sky again. I don't, I don't there's something so joyless about, about Russians. You want them just freaking like, out. Well, wouldn't yeah. you? I just, even just like a slight jog of the steering wheel or someone pulling over and doing the Russian right. equivalent of, you know, W. TF, what is that in Russian? I, I want some sort of, I want some kind of reaction, but nothing, nada, and yet yeah. there was nothing. They were just calm, and every, like it happens every day. Oh, another meteor near yes. Chelyabinsk or whatever the hell. So you're putting the the, the Russian people. <laughs> no, it's not. In the That's cultural what hall of shame last week. for what not is, responding no, to the, what it, has happened since then. Okay. So the in, in the meteor lands. There's no reaction for for a thing that. So it fell out of the sky so fast it actually broke the sound barrier. There's nothing. These yes. people don't. We would have been freaking out. Yes. Would, Canadians would have been running around in massive circles like, yeah. let's collect things to protect. Nothing. They did nothing. So it fell to the ground. It you know broke the sound barrier. And now chunks of this meteorite yes. are being sold on online. Yes. There's a there's a Russian. People want uh, a piece of history. Auction. That's that's the shame of it. There's no it, it, a piece of it. Who's selling something that comes from say doesn't space belong to all of us? So this online auction site, this Russian on yeah. avito.ru, which is apparently the Russian version of Craigslist, <laughs> which is just so sad to me that there's no everything now has a version of. I mean, there's probably a Russian version of Q with you know Jean Gometsky, <laughs> where he's like N next week on the program Adele, who was nothing before she was here. Something right? There's, there's the equivalent. Yes. Uh, Rachel yeah. Sermani coming next. To the Rus yes. Russian yeah. debut. Yeah, it's very good. Um, <laughs> I forgot what your point is. Jean yeah. Gometsky. <laughs> just the fact that there's a Russian equivalent of everything, and so why they're uh, selling pieces of the meteor that belong to everyone? Shouldn't they just be? handing out pieces to everyone on Earth? It came from <laughs> space. Doesn't that belong to all right. of us? How, how dare they monetize the meteor? If so for $3,000, you can always, like, Russia can't <laughs> hoard the meteor, right? It's not theirs. It belongs like, to all of us, right? the meteor well, that fell there. They can take the biggest chunks but, uh, and selling it? It's very capitalistic. No? Right, right. Russia? Are you conceding then? Your entire the whole way of existence. Another of good week, week with Elvira Kurt. <laughs> We've come from live cue from Leningrad. I don't know. I, I that's have, perfect. No. I think that's very it's terrible. good. No, it's it's Elvira lovely. Kurt, comedian. I'll be back. <laughs> don't you worry. Thank you. She Comedian, writer, curator of Get Q's better, Cultural Gian. Hall of Shame. Elvira Kurt. Get better.